Hello everyone, welcome back to the Robo Samurai channel, and today I will be reviewing... Well, actually, it's not just the Soundwave, the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Soundwave, but I'm going to cover all these guys, because I have never really done that, and I don't have the packaging for the other ones. I do have the Soundwave on this one just came in, so... Let's take a look at all these. Now these are core class, as it says right here, core class. Um, and um, essentially this is what the boxes look like and that's, uh, that's what we have. That's what we're going, what's going on here with this. Um, it does come with instructions. All of these came with instructions. So, um, and they pretty much look like this. They're in a little frame or whatever, a little plastic frame. So kind of cool artwork on this one. And, um, yeah, so that's what we're dealing with there. Now, these used to be called Legends Class. Now they're called Core Class in the Generations. So let's take a look at all of them. So we've got, first of all, since we were looking at that one, this is Soundwave here. And you can kind of take a look at him here. He's got a great little head sculpt here. Um, my copy has really loose something or others. These here. The swivels on these legs are really, really loose. So, um... But you can get them into somewhat decent poses and whatnot. Uh, and then you can also lift up this flap and, you know, you can get them, I guess, some, somewhat going up there. But there's nothing going on there. So he's got his gun. And as you can tell, it's kind of loose as well. So it's it, 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 it he kind of holds it. Um, it can be tightened up if necessary. So um, there's that. Now another cool thing about this... <clears throat> is that um, he also comes with a laser beak cassette. And let's take a quick look at this thing here. And you can see he's got, like, he's all folded up, but there's no way to transform him. It's completely painted, which is nice, you know, and, and it fits into his chest just like that. So that's really cool. By the way, there is sculpted detail on the inside there, so you can see that. Um, now, Soundwave's head is on a ball peg, but it's literally it's it's mounted on a bulb so the ball is actually on the inside here gives him a little bit of of range here you can turn his head all the way around backwards forwards you can say no he can say yes um so but it's a really good head sculpt very animation kind of accurate and nice and then yeah you have this little thing here as well so that's cool and of course he has elbow bend um his wrists move back due to transformation um so he can do this can he he can't he can't really eject um he can kind of pound <laughs> he can't really even touch it um he can't touch his eject button right there but his arms can go all the way around and like i was saying before uh oh his arms can go about mm, this far and this far here so there and let's see here can we do this yeah you can do the splits but you can't do all this and um you might notice here that uh, his knees are kind of like his legs are offset from his knees a bit and that's from transformation so um it goes back about that far you can also kick i guess he can kick this way yeah sure you can kick this way and then you get a little bit more of that so yeah, it's very, very interesting. So, let's go on with some of these other Decepticons. And then we'll get into the transformation of these. So, Alright, so there's Soundwave. Let's look at Megatron. <clears throat> Megatron is uh, very cool looking. Very G1 looking. But he is um, he is a tank here. Get him focused. And, and uh, yeah, he's, he's kind of neat. I like him. And he comes with... A little gun. Let's put let's put them aside. Little gun looks like Megatron. Look at that, like a little Walter Walter P thirty eight. So that's neat. It's too bad it didn't have like a stock piece right here. You know the silencer. I think it's a silencer. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, it's kind of very nice. That's neat. I like it. That's a that's a cool thing. And we'll show you how this works. But he can hold it right there. He can hold himself. <laughs> <laughs> and then he also has his cannon here. Um, let's see here. So he got a cannon, so that cannon can be aimed, and he can do the whole I'm going to shoot you, Brawn, or whatever thing that's going on there. Let's take a look here. He's got some nice little detailing here. 
very much the same kind of head sculpt that we're used to. It can swivel all the way around, but it cannot go up and down whatsoever. That's just pretty much it. Um, here's what he looks like from the back. Yeah, so you can take this, by the way. I think you can put it back here, and they can give him this kind of classic-like G, more of his G1 look, you know, where he had the the thing, the, the barrel, I guess, sticking up from the top there. Yeah, so he looks pretty nice. That's pretty cool. And um, let's see here. Can Soundwave hold him? Well, let's see here. Well, he can hold this gun, so that's kind of cool. Um, there you go. So now Soundwave can hold Megatron. This little Soundwave. This core class Soundwave. Whoop. Wow, this thing's loose as well. So be aware of that. Um, but there. So he can, he can get him posed, and he can, he can kind of like, you know, shoot whatever. Whoa. Not sure what was going on with the autofocus there. But yeah, you can hold that and do that. And when we get him into tank mode, I'll show you something else that I learned from uh, PA. But hey, okay, so that's that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him hold Megatron's gun. So, um, But uh, just to go over articulation, uh, he can go like, he can stretch his arms out that far. And of course, his fusion cannon kind of gets in the way, so you have to do that. Um, the rate the this wrist does not swivel this one does um, but when you swivel it it brings a panel with it because that's a transformation joint all right so we've got this he can do the splits he's got knee bend he can do this he can do the squats um, and uh, he can do the splits in this direction he can do the splits in that direction so very interesting and eh, it's not too bad in terms of looseness so um, he does have a waist swivel and you can almost go all the way around with that so lots of interesting fun for this guy so and he's got that whole there's no by the way no ankle tilts or anything like that the um the feet are kind of angled in like the a stance so that's what you get with these i think all of them actually the thing with Soundwave is, is that he actually does have a little bit of play right here with his uh you know but that's that's due to transformation. It's on a ball joint here, so he can kind of like you know do some things with it. A little bit of tilting here and there, so it gives you a little bit more range motion. Um, very interesting. Oh, and by the way, in in his robot mode, if you don't want if you want to store this, you can stick it right here on the side of his leg, so you can kind of just put it there and then there, so you can do that. And they can properly hold Megatron. So, oh, by the way, and there's no waist swivel on Soundwave. All right, let's take a look at Starscream. We'll do the Decepticons and then we'll get the Prime. Okay, here's Starscream. And um, pretty interesting. Very shiny head here. Um, the head does move. Um, and then you can kind of take a look at it there. Very Starscream looking head. Nice G1 interpretation of it. Um, so he does not have waist swivel, but he does have the ability to do the squats. He, you can stretch his legs um, kind of this far, and then you can have him do the splits. He can do. He can squat. He can squat like that. So all right. So then he also has range of motion like it's on a ball joint here and so is his elbow joint so his elbow joint can do that number and that number so you can do that um and uh the wings the wings will go all the way back so if you want you can have him do that and you can almost get his arm to go all the way around if you want so interestingly enough uh that's good i kind of like the way these are sculpted it's kind of a little bit kind of an animation thing uh, no, these do not. The uh, these feet are pretty much molded in place in an A stance kind of a configuration. So that's what that looks like there. So we've got them now. Can Starscream hold Megatron's gun? Well, let's find out. Um, let's leave. Uh, let's leave the tape deck there, and let's see if he can hold it. And he can. It's just not as tight. I mean, well, it's tight. It's almost too tight. So there you go, like that. And so he can kind of hold him. Can we get him in an interesting pose? Yeah, we can get him in an interesting pose. There. 
and it can just shoot from every side and every angle. Okay. Um, very interesting indeed. But I think I'm going to... It doesn't fit as well in, the, in, in his hands for Starscream, so it kind of doesn't even want to go in there, but it does fit a lot better in Soundwave. So I say we give it back to Soundwave. And of course it does fit in Megatron's hands. So let's go on ahead and give it back to Soundwave. I think he likes doing this job anyway. All right, so let's put him there. All right, and let's, let's kind of pose him like he's going to fire on someone. <laughs> All right, so now let's take a look at Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. Okay, so um, this here is a pretty interesting little figure. So I like it, um, but it is, uh, it's, and we'll see this in a bit. He does come with his gun, and this is what it looks like. It's done like in a dark gunmetal gray. Very nice. I mean, very cool for what we're getting here. Uh, very much what we expect. And he can hold it in either hand. Um, so yeah, got that going on. And he does not have any waist swivel. No waist swivel. But he does have the whole, you can do the splits this way, you can do it this way as well. This little panel kind of gets in the way, but he can still do it. Yes, he can do the squats, because he's got knee bend, just like that. Okay, so let's get this guy back into place. Um, so uh, this, technically this panel here is supposed to be kind of here. And it's weird, because this panel here has a little notch right here, and then there's a tab, but it doesn't actually tab in. I mean, it doesn't lock it in or anything like that. But, you know, that's where it was supposed to be. Anyway, so, taking a look at his arms, you can stretch his arms out like this, you can get the full rotation, and he's got the 90 degree bend developed at, the, at his elbows. Um, now, can we fit this on this little hole here? Yeah, we sure can, but um, Prime's not known for holding his gun like that, so you can do it on this side as well. So, that's kind of nice. That's neat. That's an option, and it's cool. Okay, so, there we go. Um, let's take a look at him up close. Yeah, pretty decent little figure. His head turns back and forth. Can it go all the way around? Sure can. Hey, a little hard, but it can do it. I think that was the intention. Um, he's got a little, little smokestacks here. Got a little cut in them, but that's okay. Um, so, and I guess, hey, that's an ab crunch? Yeah, we'll give it to him. Why not? Hey, that's neat. Um, you know, if you can get that out of a little legend scale. Now he does have the same feet as these two here. Give me that gun. These two here, they have the molded in feet and the A stance configuration. So he can just stand like that. You can get some interesting poses out of him if you so choose. So if you're posing him at your desk, because this is your desk transformer at work or something like that, um, or at home, wherever you work at. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so we've got, um, you know, they outnumber Prime 3 to 1. All right, so let's take a look at the transformation for all these. Let's start with Optimus Prime. So first we'll take his gun off, and then we will um, we'll flip this out, and then we will take the head and just push it in like this. So it's in that there. And then I'm going to stretch these out. And then what we want to do is we're going to take that fat flat, that back panel, flip it over like this, and then we'll kind of close up like that. Turn this all the way around. Then we're going to plug these legs in together. And then we're going to take this whole crotch piece, and then we're just going to go like this. Okay. Now we're going to flip this around. So this has to go all the way around and up. And then we're going to take these, and we're going to do the classic prime move. But first, make sure that you fold these in. Okay. There. All right. Now we'll pull these back. And uh, make sure you leave a little bit of space, because we're going to peg these. these um, this hole right here is going to peg into these little pegs right here at the top of his um, thighs. So, so kind of flip that in there. Make it work. Kind of right angle them, put them in there, and then you can kind of line this up. It, 
They don't really snap in here either, but there you go. And so there is Optimus Prime in his truck mode. And we'll talk about him in just a second. Um, the weapon storage can either be here where the trailer hitch goes, or you can put it on the side here with this little, this little tab right there. It's supposed to fit right in here. I think it fits in here. Let's see here. I don't know. I've never, I don't think I've ever been able to get this to fit properly. Let's try it this way. Does this work? Eh, no, it doesn't. That's what the instructions show, but that's okay. We'll leave this guy here, and we'll plug his gun right into the back. Let's go on to Megatron. Megatron. All right. Straighten the head out. Now, we're going to take uh, this entire assembly here and lift it up. Just pull the whole thing straight out. And then we're going to turn this around. Now, we want to take these pieces here, turn them this way. Now, when we do that, we're going to take this here and turn it so that it faces that. We're going to get this to peg into that. All right, so we're going to close this up. Uh, actually, you know what we want to do is, let's see here. Yeah, no, that's correct. We got it. So I'm going to pull these over here. But don't snap them in quite yet. We're almost there. All right, so on this wrist here, the one that turns, you want to take that and turn all the way the other direction so it's facing like that. Then we want to take this, and this, this slot here will tab into that right there. And the same thing on this side. You'll see that there is another slot and a tab so we're, those are eventually where those are going to land so so let's go on ahead oh, oh and you want to flip this cannon around like this and then we'll go on ahead and close this on top of it so you'll have to rotate those around so that they fit properly and then peg these two in and then that that's what we got there now we're going to take this and we'll put this here and then we're going to turn these around at least I believe that's how this goes um, oh yeah so these legs they kind of accordion out a bit and once we rotated that whole waist as I just showed you um, we're going to pull these both of these legs out on this joint and then we're going to kind of align them like this and you're gonna see that there is a, a tab the tab is gonna go into here and lock this in place do the same thing on the other side and all right okay all righty all righty ready get it there there we go and then these will lock it right in place there so if you see this little latch right here we're gonna kind of lock it over that okay and then squeeze these together kind of like that so this should all kind of look like this when you're done with it okay so um and then you know, make sure all the treads are all lined up. And then the instructions show you this. You're going to take a Megatron gun. And then you're going to shove it in here. Take this end piece and then put it at the end of the barrel. And that's what he looks like. <laughs> uh, that's his tank. And uh, there we go. So uh, let's deal with... Starscream next. Starscream. What you want to do is you know, take these off. By the way, these do fit in his hands. But much like the Megatron gun, they don't want to stay there very well. So <clears throat> you can force it in there and then it'll stay. But I kind of don't like forcing the plastic to stay in there. So anyway, they better, they're no, the no rays look better on his side anyway. So let's take a look at this. Now, this is a very interesting transformation. Probably one of my favorite out of all of these here. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... You're going to split his chest here. Now, his chest splits on the left-hand side. So you can pull the left-hand side over. And you can pull the wings back like this. So you're going to pull that out. And you're going to pull this out. I mean, all the way. Just like that. And then we're going to take this nose cone and do that and we want to pull this out pull his head out this way then take this 
and his nose cone. And you can go on ahead and align that just like that. Um, now we're going to take this piece here. I move the legs out of the way a bit. Um, and then I just do a rotate here. I'm going to rotate this entire thing, depending on what perspective you have here, so that it looks like this. Now you're going to bring the, um, bring the nose cone up forward, and then snap it into place right there. Now you want to take this, turn Starscream's head around, and then plug it in there. Got it? Okay, great. Now you can do a girl walk mode. Anyway, so um, let's do this. You gotta take his you gotta take these wings and pull them up and you'll hear them snap into into place. Do the same thing with the other one. Tap them together and then bring the whole thing over here and then those tabs should go right behind here and line up just like that now you want to just take this and close it back on top and it should if you line this up just right ow <laughs> these should if you look here there's little tabs here on the inside of his chest they're gonna tab into these things here these little tabs on the back, on the bottom parts of his knee. So if you do it right, you should be able to have all of them lined up properly, and they'll snap in and lock in place. So uh, let's put that there. There we go. That looks good. And then that one there, and then this one here has one each. That's equivalent. Okay. All right. So now we got that. Now take his arms. You're gonna turn them, and then when you bring these down, this is gonna tab into that. So bring down the wings tab that into there. Okay, do the same thing with the other side. Turn, down, angle tab. So, you, so you're going to angle the arms. That's how they do it in this uh, particular transformation. Then fold the wings down like this. Take his weapons and plug them right back where you found them. You go right there. All right. And there's Starscream in his alt mode. Okay. Three down, one more to go. All right, so we got Soundwave here. Now, I'm going to take this off for transformation. Um, you don't have to take Laser Beak out for the transformation. Remove that. Straighten his arms out. All right, then we're going to take his head, turn it around 180 degrees, and just push it down in here. I try to get it as straight as possible so it's flat in there. Okay. And then we're going to move his hands back. And then we're going to bring them back here. Um, and then they'll tab into there. There's little tabs in the slot. His, his, forearm, his, his forearms will tab into there. Then we're going to turn these this way. His legs on the thigh joint. Bring them up. Come over here. Tab that into that. And do the same thing here, and add that into that. All right. Now take the weapons, and I think that should be able to take this one, and put it here, and you take this one, and you put it uh, here. You want this silver piece facing up, so that the supports for these bottom of these weapons actually help support the figure when he's in his alt mode. So. So they're kind of even like that. If you have it the other way around, it'll stick out. So, And then you're supposed to take these feet, push them up like that. And there you go. There is Soundwave. It is alt mode. And actually, here they all are. So you have Optimus Prime, Soundwave, Starscream, and Megatron. Uh, let's talk about Optimus Prime first. Now, Optimus Prime is very interesting. He's kind of a long-looking truck here. He's all right. I mean, he's he's pretty good. I mean, he rolls uh, fairly well on his wheels. Um, it's not bad for a core class, or I call it a Legends class figure. You know, it's too bad that this does not tab in here or stay. See? Okay. So, um, but it's kind of neat. I like that. And see, these are supposed to tab into here and fit there. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, he doesn't have a trailer or anything like that, so you can always just plug that into there. 
Um, yeah, he looks pretty good, you know, not too bad. Um, Soundwave, of course. Um, he's he's pretty much a tape deck, um, and he looks really good. So I like this, you know. I like just like I showed you in robot mode there. Um, everything seems to come together really nicely, you know. And, um, almost evocative. Now the only thing is that some people don't like these here, and I think that there's a third-party mod for this. Or what some people do is they just do this. They just move these. Um, they move these up there so that all you see, uh, you know, you don't see these big things sticking up. That'll work too. You got holes on the side, but that'll work. So, but I'm gonna leave it in its recommended mode. Starscream. Starscream is probably one of the cooler figures in this um, in this set, actually, and I do like it. The underside, yeah, we've got a side, we've got a faux chest, but <laughs> that's really not new. Um, it's just on the other side. I like the transformation on this, probably the best out of all four of these. And um, yeah, he's got the nice Decepticon symbols, everything else. That's what he looks like from the back. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 a very serviceable jet. So if they made two other of these, and I don't know if they do. Uh, for Skywarp and Thundercracker, I probably would get them. And here's Megatron. Now, Megatron has zero wheels down here, just to let you know. There are no wheels for him, but um, he does lie kind of flat there um, on the table and everything else. So, looks really good. Um, yeah, he's got pretty much, hey, I can see your head syndrome there, or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so he's got. Uh, the the turret can go all the way around like so and um, so that little thing that I was talking to you about that I learned from peon I really like this um, and I'll probably be modifying this take this out here and then you can take if you have um, bumblebee uh, from the um, you can use a part of his weapon and you can plug it in here now this I think this is Bumblebee. Yes, this is Bumblebees. And Bumblebees in particular is a pretty good match for that silver right there. So you can stick this right into the tank barrel. And it fits perfectly. And then you can kind of have, you know, Megatron with a more appropriate tank barrel, barrel right there. So it looks really good. Now, this here, uh, this peg here, you can... I'm going to cut this off probably because I have like two or three of these and... Bumblebee doesn't really need that one, so um, you can also turn this around. It sticks up a little bit, allows him to have that that in that direction there. But yeah, that's a really good option if you want to like have him in tank mode there, or you know just have him flip. You know you want to flip it around. So um, so yeah, there's a lot of good. Oh yeah, where would you put this? Well, I mean you could literally put it in the front of it, but that looks weird. Um, there really isn't another place to put it, so I haven't figured that out, but that's okay. Um, no, I don't think it'll fit very well here. Let's see here. Can I even get that to plug in? Never tried. Nah, that's all right. <laughs> um, I might be able to get uh, maybe sound wave to hold it. Nah, forget it. But that's all right. Just don't lose it. <laughs> you should be fine. So. Um, there you go, guys. And so I thought I'd bring you these here, core class. Um, uh, just do a quick review on them. I don't know. It's been about 20 minutes or so. So not really quick. But I think these are, you know, if, if you want a small robot that's G1. Now they have other fossilizers and things like that, but I don't really collect those. I do like the G1 ones, so that's why I uh, have these here. Um, so, you know, um, I think they're neat. Um, I do. Um, I don't think they're perfect, but at that scale, what do you want? <laughs> for real. That's all we got. So, hey, thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch more of my videos, uh, my Transformers reviews, or my model builds, please subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk to you next time.